Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode of Stories with Jashan. Sometimes it can be very concerning that after you finish your course, what will be your next step? And in that same situation is our guest Sean today and we'll be hearing about his future plans from the same time he's a very experienced person staying in the UK for like a significant while. So we'll be having conversation around his UK student life experience. And thanks to Skillshare for kindly sponsoring this video. Without any further ado, I would request Sean to introduce himself. Please Sean, go ahead. So, hello guys. Uh... So I have started, uh, my name is Sham and uh, I came to UK in uh, 2019 September and uh, in June I finished my graduation. Uh, I have done my master's in uh, business with management. So now right now I am, uh, I have done part time job in uh, for two years and uh, currently I am looking for full time job and uh, also doing part time job. So yeah, that's where I am right now. Thank you so much, Sham, for your introduction. So, like, why did you chose UK at the very first place? Did you have some other countries in your mind? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I did choose UK because, you know, that's the time, perfect time for, uh, you know, the PSW was the promise at that time. And, but I mean, of course, it, it was not in the papers back then, but then uh, uh, it, Boris also said before, even before the election, the PSW is confirmed and uh, people can come on based on that. So I think it's uh, and also uh, coming to finance, it is only very less fees compared to any country uh, since it's uh, 18 lakhs. But then we, we also got 3000 of scholarship, so it's, it was uh, 15 lakhs overall, 15,000 pounds. So that's the two reasons and uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you Sean for like highlighting these points and yeah, so you have been doing like part-time job like for uh, like when you were in the or university, right? So like how your experience has been with part-time jobs? First of all, how did you look for a part-time job and what kind of part-time job did you did or what kind of part-time job your friends do? Please. I mean, uh, initially we were like, uh, we prepared a CV everyone like including me and my friends. Uh, so. Mm. CV like basic uh, CV like what kind of experience that can be useful for part-time jobs not not like full-time jobs what we have done in India uh, but then you know like experience like work, worked at some shop or worked at some uh, packaging something like that so currently uh, I'm working at a warehouse so that's where uh, uh, every, like almost everyone have started from a warehouse and then few people are doing in uh, sh uh, local shops and uh, uh, supermarkets as well so yeah and uh, we, we have applied also online you know there are few jobs online like uh, customer service and uh, customer service advisor from different companies so that uh, that is also same pay but then uh, it is like more work from home but it was before it was uh, before pandemic it was only uh, uh, to go to the office and like that but uh, pay was the same like nine pounds per hour uh, even like Vero's or supermarket, these kind of jobs get uh, 9 pounds, 10 pounds. Uh, it's the same pay but uh, different work, that's it. Yeah. So basically, Shaf, for, for you, like how much time did it uh, took you to get your very first part-time job? How many months or weeks? So I came here in September, uh, mid, uh, mid uh, I guess third week. So I, mm. uh, I joined my first part-time October, uh, November first week, I say. Yeah, two months, I, say, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that, that that's what like, I preach in my videos as well. It takes you at least one or two months to actually get a part-time job. It's not just like when you arrive, you get a part-time job. It's not like that. So like how much money can the student expect to make? So what is like per hour rate which students can generally expect to make around in the UK? Per hour uh, minimum, it was uh, before it was uh, 8.91 uh, at the beginning. But uh, later uh, 2020, it was increased to 9.20 something like 30 pence or 40 pence have increased and that was the minimum and uh, mm -hmm. there are few there are few part-time jobs that will be like if you have done like three months or four months obviously they'll increase another two pounds or three pounds per hour so it will be 11 or 12 pounds per hour there are few jobs like that like it's better to look look for uh, that job that kind of part-time job so that you can do less time and then uh, earn more money obviously in 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 the uh, uh, term time we, uh, we used to do only 20 hours per, per week and uh, you can calculate obviously 8.91 into 20 yeah, yeah. it will be somewhere around per month it will be uh, 600 to 6700 somewhere in between that and uh, mm -hmm. in the during holidays like Christmas and uh, summer time it was obviously more like 40 hours we can do and uh, we did uh, like most of my friends have done and uh, same with me yeah. 
yeah thank you sham for this and like uh, uh, like uh, how how are you managing your uh, university fees like which was like 15000 pounds uh, after the scholarship and like your like this money which you are earning through your part time jobs how 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 good is it to manage your fees uh, with this i would say part time i mean uh, we totally it was 18000 and uh, i got uh, 3000 pounds as scholarship and uh, like most of my friends have got the same and uh, like initially we need to pay 6000 pounds when we were in india like uh, like first year fees whole fees first year fee we need to pay uh, in, in india itself so that we can get cash and then we need to apply for visa and uh, second year 9000 uh, uh, i've managed to pay around uh, uh, half more than half and then remaining were uh, uh, i also do have loan so i, I managed with that yeah So before diving more in this conversation I would like to thank our sponsor for today's episode which is Skillshare. Now if you are not aware about Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community where thousands come together to take their next step in the creative journey. On Skillshare you can find various different classes such as on entrepreneurship, you can find on photography, videography, graphic designing and various other classes. And the class which I have been recently watching is portrait photography by Jessica. And the best part about Skillshare is that most of the classes are under 60 minutes which are divided into very different short lessons which very well fit in my own personal schedule so i have personally utilized skillshare to enhance my own productivity learn new skills and same you can do and for my audience i've got a special offer the very first 1000 people to click on the link mentioned in the description box below will be getting the free trial of skillshare for full one month so do not miss on this opportunity and do check out skillshare now back into this conversation so well thanks shaw for highlighting this point now moving on so how has your university experience been like uh, which university is Again? Uh, I mean North American University right now. Uh, I mean North American University. Yeah. Wow. And like uh, I was like a little bit curious to ask you, is like two years degree? Yeah, it's two years degree. Yeah. But like usually masters is of one year, right? Uh, I I've chosen to take uh, advanced practice, which is more of a uh, internship and uh, uh, dissertation, which is a research paper with a specific topic that we choose. but then uh, uh, instead of internship i've done uh, business clinic it, it is also uh, a project that continues like same like internship but then like will will be submitting to uh, faculty or professor whoever it is okay got it so like uh, basically you're studying in northumbria university what kind of courses are really famous like what kind of courses should students really look for when they're joining this university which are like the top famous ones Uh, I would say computer science is also really good, and uh, since my my personal uh, was digital marketing and business uh, MBA into marketing, so I really like that uh, MBA, and uh, so it also gives various uh, options for uh, business people. Like there are many like international business, finance, uh, operations, and uh, logistics, uh, different. Uh, whatever specification you want in the business, it is a, it is more detailed. Like more than ten to twelve are there, so it's. more optional uh, in the business perspective and computer science also have do uh, many uh, advanced computer science and uh, normal computer science so two or three are there so uh, look at the website Sorry. of northumbria and uh, you will find more information about it Yeah. So since you have been staying in Newcastle, so Northumbria University is in Newcastle. So, what's the uh, uh, like your monthly expenses in uh, Newcastle? Just to give an idea to the audience. Uh, I mean, monthly expenses. I would say uh, depends on the location where you you are choosing your uh, apartment or home. So for me, it's five five hundred and fifty per month uh, overall. So we stay three people, three BHK. So uh, it's around one eighty seven or one ninety. and uh, in, including the uh, expenses like uh, electric bill gas bill and uh, these kind of things so water bill so it's overall we we will pay around uh, 232 to 240 somewhere between that and uh, it fluctuates because of the gas bill and sometimes and uh, food expenses it depends on completely individual how we i mean sometimes we eat outside and everything but uh, usually it, it takes some, let's say 100 pounds on average so it's around it will be less than 350 i mean 350 uh, uh, it also depends on you know university from past one year there is no university it's completely online so travel expenses have been yeah. a bit cover up over there so i would say yeah uh, it will become 400 uh, including travel like since it's local so we can stay take uh, stage coach passes like so uh, for us it's stage coach for it depends on the route that wherever you guys go yeah. Great, like thanks, Sean, for this. 
so well, uh, moving on. So, like, what are your future plans looking like? So, since you have finished your course, uh, how does your future plans look like, really? I mean, uh, currently, uh, since I'm looking for a full-time job, and uh, since to pay my bills, I'm doing a part-time job, of course, and. Uh, if, uh, and also we do have a PSW. Uh, we need to apply for PSW post study work visa, and uh, yeah. we need to see like how that goes. And uh, uh, since you also asked the really that that question, you know, uh, PSW we need three three uh, documents like uh, BRP card and uh, passport, and one more thing is uh, cash that we apply for yes. uh, visa when you are in India. So these three documents are mainly required for uh, application and I haven't applied yet but uh, I need to apply in a couple of months so yeah. So like Sham did you try applying for like uh, like TA2 sponsorship jobs like work visa sponsorship jobs did you try that? Yeah uh, I, uh, I mean I haven't applied for that kind of jobs yet but uh, I did apply uh, some jobs which are uh, uh, with, uh, I mean they didn't ask for uh, TA2 uh, visa yet but then uh, uh, I did apply, so interviews processing are going on right now. So, yeah, looking for best results right now. Yeah, no, best of luck for your job, sir. I mean, sometimes it can be very harsh, but like you've got two more years to stay in the UK. So, yeah, you've got really great chances to look for a job. And uh, any last piece of advice for the students? Definitely. I mean, uh, if you're coming as uh, uh, like most of the people, uh, you know, some people message me on Instagram or, uh, you know, comments from my YouTube channel. So they say, uh, can we pay, pay the part-time, uh, from part-time job money, can we pay mm -hmm. the tuition fee? So don't look for that, guys. It's mainly you need to mainly focus on skills so that you can get a job finally. So I say you better mo mostly focus on, on your time and everything manage your time mostly to build your skills and get your get the job finally uh, part time job is just temporary i would say and uh, yeah i mean of course it's you need to do part time job to pay the bills and everything but this uh, to build the skills is more important than part time yeah yeah, I think it is a really great thing to finish this uh, video with because your first priority should always be the studies as what you are really here for. And basically when you're in the UK, it is your studies and the skills which will be taking you a long way ahead. If you want a tier to job, they want like nice degree with good grades, good skills. So like part-time jobs are good, but your number first priority should always be the studies. Then it can be your work, paying your fees, paying your living expenses. Because I understand that is also very important because you also learn some communication skills, leadership skills on the part-time job. Job, but your first priority should always be your studies and with this Sham himself has got his own YouTube channel he's getting started on the YouTube so he has made very informative videos so do check out his channel I'll be mentioning the link in the description box below and also he's got his Instagram you can check that out and if you've got any questions if you would like to talk about Nathambria University whatever he's talked in this uh, video feel free to like ask him on his Instagram handle so with that, uh, thanks for your time for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.